You guys on my bed with this beautiful haircut are uh, right for you. And I'm going to check those um, startup pitch decks. Um, I'm on this website called Billion Dollar Pitch Decks. I would guess those are billion dollar startups. So let's start. So this is 1906. I'm just going to put that full screen so that we can see. All right, let's go. All right, so they make like edible cannabis. Uh, like an, uh, yeah. Okay, edibles are the future. Well, um, in my experience, edible, when it comes to cannabis, has been pretty goddamn dangerous. Uh, their effects are uh, quite unpredictable, so maybe they can make more. Okay, got it. The edibles cannabis are cheaply made unpredictable, so they, they got that. Bad tasting product, indeed. Okay, yeah, there's a market for that, but I mean, all right, so that's like the classic hipster influencer picture. Uh, da, 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 yeah, meat functional cannabis. Yeah, there's a market for that. I guess like most people do not consume cannabis um, up to this day. And they're, they're still discovering it. Like, cannabis isn't cool anymore, you know. It's not like kids like me that used to do it back in days and were a minority. I guess, like, most people are getting into it. It's not, like, taboo anymore. So there is a market for that. So that's supposed to be a billion-dollar company. Um, functional. Oof. Functional cannabis. Yeah. I heard about like uh, microdosing mushroom, but okay, yeah, anxiety. Okay, that's interesting to be honest. Like I could see, for example, a fit for for my wife. Uh, real zone. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. Can't read the last one. The ghost for yeah, euphoria bliss. Uh, not sure. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't invest in that, but I can see can see the need here. Not sure how big they are today. Press outlets, beverage. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was 2018. There was like kind of a, a boom for that, but there is fun in that business. This is their profits. Hmm. I'm skeptical as I started my own supplement company. So yeah, more units sold. We are disciplined, focus about how we grow. Okay, can be a good thing because indeed, yeah, expansion in those kind of companies, I mean, there's laws, you know. Unprecedented technology facilities. Disruption is everything, yeah. I'm going to go see who are the founders of that company in a couple of seconds here, slash minutes. Chocolates. Nah, nah. They have impressing financials. Love the fact that they talk about discipline rollout because, yeah, that's okay. So, Peter Barsoom. Peter is high. This is your moment. Yeah. I mean, let's go check out their, their companies real quick. So, Apollo. I'm going to go check out their cannabis. You know, six, right? Let's go here, check out their company here. 
Yes, I'm old enough. Skip. Oh my god. Looks looks sketchy. Sketchy. Caffeine. Kizzle. Okay, so, ah, they're not only in cannabis. Well, or are they? Okay, so CBD. Love. Yeah, I don't believe in, in this type of business. I've been there, done that, so I'm really skeptical when it comes to to those business. Consumer good, 27 employees. Let's go check their funding here. They're supposed to be a billion dollar company according to that whatever billion dollar deck here. So indeed they've got 18 million funding. Hmm. Let's check. Let's go check down, please. Oops. I'm going to go in overview and find leads. Amazing tool, this Apollo stuff, by the way. All right. So let's go check Heather. Let's go check Peter, which is the founder. Chief of Retail Development, Sales and Education, Senior. Okay. All right, let's go see those two. And I'm gonna finalize that video. Yeah, so they got 18 million funding. Well, that might finance a couple of product and a bunch of marketing and those beautiful photos here, for sure. Colorado, Oklahoma, Illinois, and Massachusetts. So they didn't reach their California objective, which is already a sign that this is not working as. I okay, guess so she's a copyright chief marketing officer, just in that, and she she works at something else at the same time, so she's not full time. So. Yeah, not a good sign. And then Peter, high face. He's a founder here. And let's go check his experience. Chief operating. Oh, why Peter got into that? Obviously, Morgan Stanley. So this guy knows how to raise money, you know, and certainly how to consumer banking. Yeah, Merrill Lynch. He knows how to get funding. So bottom line. They got funding. This is not a billion dollar business. Never gonna be um, pre cool product and everything. There would be a need, but skeptical on the the niche. Been there, done that. 